All right, this is my back porch herb garden, and I set it up on an automatically watering drip irrigation system. And today I'm gonna to show you how I did it so you can do the same in your garden. As you can see, I have planters along the rail. These are planters that are specifically designed to fit her along the rail so that they don't fly off in a high windstorm. And in each planter, I have drip emitters. I have two drip emitters. You can see there's different style emitters. Sprinklers available. Adjustable emitters. All right, now I want to take just a second to talk about types of fittings and types of lines that we use. So first off, when we come from the head, we use half inch main line. There's also three quarter inch main line, but this system's not big enough to necessitate it. So I'm using half inch for my main line and most container gardens will be about the same. For the connections on the main line, I go with the permalock fittings. There's different fitting styles out there. You can use compression fittings, a few different styles, but uh, they're not reusable. These are reusable. You can see this I've used, it's got mud on it. It's from a previous year. Very easy to make a connection. You just push it in place. And then you tighten this down over the top and that makes a good seal. When you want to undo it, you just loosen it, pull it apart, and you can reuse these components. So that's why I like these, uh, this style fitting over the other ones. Now, in order to go from your half inch main line to each container, you have to use quarter inch line, or what I use is quarter inch line. There's a few different options when it comes to emitters. Number one, real common and real cheap is a flag emitter. poke a hole in your half inch main line, you take your emitter, you pop it in place, put some quarter inch tubing on the other side of this and you just run it to where you need to go, put a bug plug in the end, call it a day. Very simple, very cost effective. You can pull them open and clean them up, but this is a, a cheap option. This is what they call a stake emitter and this is what I use in a lot of my container gardens. This is basically the emitter. Uh, I think it's a half half gallon per hour, but I could be wrong. Might say on it. Two liters per hour, okay. It's Australian made. You connect this to the main line same way. This is your emitter. This is actually what regulates the water as opposed to the flag dripper, which is here. So you don't actually have to put any kind of restrictor right here. You just use a straight tube. Poke it in place and run this to where you need to. Other options you can use instead of the stake emitter. 
you can use an adjustable fan dripper like this one here and you can just adjust it to decide how much flow you can also get a sprayer these you run into here you put it on a, a stake and it will actually spray out in a different pattern fan sprayer so this is kind of nice if you want to cover a larger area like I do with the flower pot over there. Another option, say you're doing a raised bed or if you're doing a, a long container, this is what I like to use. This is a drip line. So this has a drip emitter. This is 12 inch drip line. This is every 12 inches it has an emitter. These are great if you're doing a, a long row of something like carrots. Coming out of the faucet, first thing we use is a backflow preventer. Then I'm going to set up the automatic timer, followed by a pressure regulator. Then I'm going to use a filter and into the system. At every connection, Make sure to use a hose washer. Right now, I don't have the fertilizer injector set up, but I'm going to put the fertilizer injector on.
All right, the next step in the plan, as you can see, we've run the line, half inch line, all the way around. We've run into here, and then we've run from the half inch line back to the rest of the porch over there. What I don't have is a line running to this one yet. So I'm going to show you how I hook that one up. All right, so I have a half inch strip line running all the way around the outside of the porch over here, but I have to get water over to this one. So I'm going to tee into the half inch system. I have a couple of options. Number one, I could tee in over here, run underneath the porch, and pop out over here. The other option, this is the one I'm going to use, I'm going to tee into the main line as it comes off over there, run it right under the porch here, and then I'm going to have it come out right here. So that way I'll have a line over here for any future plants I want to put on this other part of the porch, and I'll have something for right here. So, let's go put this T in. Got this one poking through from the other side. Got my T. What I'm going to use for the emitter in this container here is going to be this drip line. This is quarter inch drip line with a drip emitter every six inches. Drip emitter here, six inches drip emitter here, six inches drip emitter here. So I'm going to cut it where I have three emitters on this line. Now onto one side, I'm going to take a goof plug. I'm going to plug up one side. Into the other side, I'm going to put in a quarter inch elbow. Then I'm going to use a quarter inch vinyl line. I'm going to run this down to the half inch line. I'm going to take metal stakes. At the very bottom, I'm going to have to connect this quarter inch line into the half inch line. And in order to do that, I'm going to use one of these straight pieces. First thing I'm going to do is poke the hole using this. Tuck that away. Let's test it out. 